As I mentioned earlier, the servers have been like down for the last few days, and luckily they're working for me because for some reason, even though Match Replay takes from local files, if the servers are down, you can't watch matches back, which seems dumb. Hopefully they can fix the server issues, because the server issues have been going on, like I said, for over a week now, and some people genuinely just can't even play the game. We're going to start with Emerald Plains. Uh, this match is going to be a long one for us to watch, I believe, because in this match we have I.I. Lars, who's accusing Trombed, the ace on their team, Bombaclat, the Jaeger on the enemy team, Real Badman, the Mozzie on the enemy team, and Yarmad Kosi. Also, I'm going to finally do something. I mentioned doing this maybe a while ago, and I was like, eh, I don't really want to make it too small, but I'm going to shrink that just a little bit so you guys can finally see the username and KD of the person in the bottom left. I guess we'll start with, we'll start with Ace, because I feel like that, as long if we can say he's cheating, then it's easy to watch all of one team. Let's watch Ace. He already was slightly suspicious for me when he aimed at, I think it was Tubro through the wall. Hold on. He tried to pre fire the Tubro without having ever seen him. The Tubro is on the stairs. You can obviously hear it. Tubra is not visible, and Ace starts shooting. So Ace is cheating. Ace has walls. We can already confirm that there, just from that reaction alone. The pre-fire makes zero sense, and he's probably going to pre-fire Mozzie here. Oh no, he's just following them through the wall. Yeah, he, okay, so Ace is cheating. Guaranteed. We know that. We don't have to watch him anymore. So now we have to watch Jaeger, Rio Badman, and... Okay. Let's go back and see how Jaeger got his kill. He just looked at them. Mm. Well, that kill wasn't suspicious in itself. But leading up to it was the fact that he just kind of stared at them through the wall. But it could maybe hear the repel or something. I don't know. There's a zombie shooting onto Ash. We'll watch that. Okay, they died. They died. That's just Jaeger, who is the last suspicious one. I'm going to rewind this. I, I haven't played Jaeger in a while, so forgive me for not knowing for sure. Is the recoil this easy to control? It looks like he has zero movement. So he goes for the spray. Like his aim barely moved at all there. Jaeger recoils baby mode, okay. So I, I know, I haven't played Jaeger consistently in years, so I don't know for sure, but... If it's not easy to control, then I would say that's suspicious. I do think his shot onto whoever that was that he downed was a little weird, because it looked like he didn't really have intel on him, but yeah, he pre-fired him anyways, but we'll see. Keep in mind, we're also watching Mute and Capcan, but we're going to watch them as they get kills. I think Jaeger right now at least is the most suspicious since he actually was putting up a big fight last round compared to Mute and Capcan. Ow. 
I th think he's cheating. We'll have to watch more, but <clears throat> if I'm not mistaken, I think he aims at crouch level, and then as soon as Lion stands up, he aims at standing level. So watch, so Lion's crouched, he aims low. And then Lion stands up and watches Jaeger repositions his aim to move up. Could be coincidence. Could also be him knowing that they are now standing. And then he did kind of line them up there through the wall, but I mean, to be fair, he just saw him at the door, so it's not the hardest in the lineup. Is he aiming at? I think he's cheating. It looked like he just aimed at the Zofia through the wall. He aimed low because of the broken barricade. Sure, he aimed low because of the broken barricade, but then he immediately changes aim to standing. No, he's, he's cheating. There is a broken wall here that you can't see, but he hits that as he's trying to hit Ace. Who Ace is also cheating, aiming right at Jaeger. So far, Ace and Jaeger both guaranteed cheating. Now we're going to watch Capcan, who is also a suspected cheater. We already saw something slightly sus there. It looked like he kind of pre-fired the Finca and then pre-fired at the Ace, but didn't get the kill. But then he doesn't look at Ace, so I, uh, I don't know. These cheaters are everywhere. There is, there's been a, a significant uptick in reports, at least. I'm still slightly firm on my belief that I don't think there's actually more cheaters. I think it's just... I think there's a combination of less uh, legit players, which makes it seem like there's more cheaters. But also, it seems like what we talked about before, Battle Eye has just been turned off. Which means that these cheaters can just run around doing whatever they want. With no fear of being banned, no fear of any repercussions. I might, that might be the first time in Siege history that a cheater got a kill with a fuse puck. A reaction. I don't know if Mew is cheating. He doesn't seem like it, but they could also be trying very hard to hide it. No way they just left that door. They had two shields, put one there, put one in the other door. These look like reactions. Like he he swung looking like right here and then realized Blitz was there so he's, he moved his aim after. I feel like he's not cheating. Okay, so we still gotta watch. I don't know why Ash was accused. Ash hasn't done anything. There's zero and three. Sludge at least has gotten some kills. Just took like 35% damage to do that. Ash is cheating. Okay. I mean, I literally just was like, yeah, I don't know why they accused them. They're 0 and 4. They're cheating. Because they... I don't think they saw them. They were already aiming at them before they even saw them. So I, I'm fairly certain they're cheating. Unfortunately, not even cheats will make them better at the game, but you know what will is a varsity gaming term which you can get today just by subbing my Twitch channel for free with Twitch Prime, or you can use $5. Alright, so last one we have to watch, because I'm, I'm fairly certain Ash is cheating, we only have to watch Sledge now. Trombed, Bomb, Bombaclat, Yarmad, Kosi, all cheating, just real bad man left. Which, by the way, how, how bad do you think you must the person must feel? The Ash being zero and four while walling. That's that's tough scenes. I 
don't think Sludge is cheating. At least compare or he's not cheating as much as the others, at the very least. He could be cheating, but I don't think he is. I don't think he's cheating. The fact that they accused the Yarmad guy when he's zero and four is crazy, like he must do something this round to just make them suspicious. But then it makes me wonder why a real bad man got accused. Okay, well they're dead, so... I guess it doesn't matter. So they said... Real bad man looked through the ceiling on round three. I was watching I don't remember seeing that. So there's the ping. The ping was there, and now it's now gone, and he's aiming right at the fuse, so I guess it's a little weird. And he like holds it on a fuse for a while and then slowly moves away, like, oh. It's like the Michael Sarah gif from Super Bad where he stares at the hot girl, she looks at him, and then he's like, ooh. Uh, other than that, they're like, <sighs> I didn't really see much to be suspicious of so I wouldn't feel comfortable saying that they're cheating the other ones are 100% cheating like not a doubt in my mind okay, so this is the ace as a 1.3 KD oh they actually went from like bronze to plat to now emerald but they're cheating now so they actually had a sl slow progression over time just to end up cheating seems seems almost like a waste this is the name of bomba clat apparently this is their real name no ranked history at all with all of a sudden a 2kd almost makes sense yeah they're cheating and then this is the guy that i don't think was cheating but i guess could have been that's an i there it is 2.61 kd okay well i said probably not cheating but with that kd after being in silver with a negative kd they're probably cheating they probably just didn't accomplish much and hit it well last one this is the guy who went zero and five i think you're mad Kosi, no ranked history ever 1.6 kd diamond they were definitely cheating you're mad literally got one kill that round that's crazy the fact that they beat three cheaters is also insane i, I know they the most blatant cheater was on their team but the fact that they beat three i guess more closet cheaters unheard of Right, this next one is the one from before Christmas. This is really old. Match number two is you. Uh, he gave me what his real name is. Hugh G. Rection. What a name. And they are accusing Ramala, the Amaru on their team, in this six-round match. Uh-oh. This is, this is going to be a super obvious cheater, isn't it? The round is now half over, and that was just the prep phase. Oh, Nook killed themselves to watch Ash. Oh yeah, they're cheating. They are 100% cheating. They must have known like super early that they were cheating in order to team or like to kill themselves just to watch them. Just staring at them. I think I remember what match this is. I don't want to spoil it though. Um, Ramallah, team killed by you. What happens this round? Team killed by large cankles. So first they were team killed by you, and then they were team killed by your mother and her cankles. No one's team killing the cheater this round? That's actually surprising. I watched the other guys stream from your last game yesterday, they were super salty. Yeah, we were talking about that. This, like, this squad that we 
beat twice yesterday. We got so pissed off that they lost to us. They were basically just trying to trash talk my content and be like, you are so ass, like he's so bad. How did he win, blah, blah. Oh, he actually got him to team kill the submitter. So then now he'll have reverse friendly fire active. That's actually huge. May not sound huge, but it is because now they can run in front of Bandit whenever he shoots in the future and get him to just kill himself with reverse friendly fire. Hmm. You can actually jump out that window now, I did not know that. Oh, wait, they team killed him. Who did it? King Flip? Good job. Alright, so then that means they either team kill him this round, J Chan fan, or, or Jackie Chan fan, or the cheater dies somehow, I don't know. Oh, they're all, I think they're all gonna try to stay in front of him to make him kill himself by shooting. What's crazy, but also a little bit sad is how much work people in the game have to put in to like deal with cheaters to the point that I would say I think the community puts in more effort to deal with cheaters than Ubisoft does. Oh, they trapped him. They literally just trapped him. <laughs> He got a quad kill with a nade because they trapped him in the corner. Ever or with the new frag rework, that is the most amount of kills you will ever see with a nade. You will never see more than that. They actually trapped him. That is hilarious. That is probably the best cheater team kill I have ever seen. Fucking quad with a nade. And then obviously they lose. Um, let's see. This guy's account. Ramala. That's an I and then an L. He went from plat, 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 barely playing at all to diamond. It is a little sad when you see something like this. Like this was someone who was actually dedicated to Siege enough to play for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven seasons while being negative every single season. So he was not doing well, but he was dedicated enough to keep grinding. And then, if I had to guess, it looks like Ranked 2.0 made him hate Ranked, so then he started cheating. That would be the conclusion I draw from this, because they weren't cheating until Ranked 2.0. Granted, they played still four more seasons without cheating, so maybe... Maybe it wasn't Ranked 2.0? I don't know. Honestly, fair, 2.0 is ass. It is ass, but it, it wouldn't make me start cheating. Alright, next one's gonna be Coastline. We have... But... Bahunas, Bahunavils, who's accusing Elo trapped MMR. This is an eight round match, by the way, so I, I feel like they're either not going to be obvious or they're going to be just so bad. Based off movement and aim, I'm going to guess not bad. But not great. Nook is AFK. Toggling on cheats. If he's toggling on his cheats using his little cloud-based UI, I'm gonna be annoyed. Could be coincidence that that's lining up. He didn't seem to react that Kaid was on the left there. Which means he genuinely might not know. Takes off his head though. Gets run out on, doesn't realize it. I mean, a little weird, but also kind of not suspicious. This guy is just like Kit, for real. Kit does this all the time, he activates his gadget and then sprints around. And I'm like, Kit, your gadget doesn't do anything if you sprint around. Is 
feel like he's gonna try to push the person in kitchen that he saw that was prone. Or not kitchen, they were in barrels. It just seemed weird for him to break that, look at the person who was laying down there, and then push somewhere else. Oh, but it actually looks like he doesn't even know that they're there. Or at least is not pushing that way. He's checking that because he died from there before. The fact that Ward didn't even shoot a bullet. Looks like he didn't even notice that Capcan was behind that. Super slow reaction. Unless something switches up, I don't think they're cheating. <clears throat> they seem like a good player, but also... Maybe just a bit too aggressive, because they did die two rounds in a row by just, like, almost rushing in. What makes him a good player? I would say his, at least general awareness, seems to be good. Like, when he moves around, he's, like, checking corners, he's checking um, angles that they could be pushing. He did have, like, decent reaction on two of those kills in the last round, but then he also had one terrible reaction. So it's like, maybe he just got lucky in those? I don't know. Right now, he does seem like a bot with how he's moving, but... I mean, there's also not much to do. Like, he could also be... just like spamming the QE to make himself look better, but usually... quick leaning like that... <clears throat> that is a sign of a good player. It's just kind of doing it for no purpose so maybe maybe I take back the statement that he's a good player we'll, we'll watch some more like, that reaction was good but then he kept shooting after he killed her because he didn't realize he'd killed her I don't know I guess I am having a hard time determining whether they're good or bad hmm <clears throat> How long do you think it'll take for Ubisoft to get a handle on the servers? Bold of you to think they'll ever get a handle on it. I think last time they had server issues, it took them one month. There's a ping. See, so like some of those kills, I'm like, okay, that's a decent shot. But then other ones, I'm like, those are so ass. How is he getting kills like that? He got two quads back to back. I don't know. I I don't know if I take back the whole he seems like a good player. Because, like, he does sometimes. But then other times I'm like, this guy seems like a bot at the same time. There's something off about this guy. He takes a ton of time to get good mechanically at this game. That you'd be so far behind in every other aspect. Hmm. Depends on what games you play, but yeah. Wasted C4. He didn't even like realize that someone was on top of him until the hatch was open. Right now, we'll, we'll look up his stats after to see if it's true, but right now, how this reads to me is someone who used to play Siege, took a long break, and then came back. Because he has the movement and the aim of like what looks like a longer term siege player and some of the game sense, but then his map knowledge and um, awareness seems low, which would be more or less typical of someone who hasn't played in a long time. They know how to move and aim, but they don't know who is where, what sounds are what, when, like where are people pushing from. He doesn't even notice the drone there. The 
drone sees him. You can see, it's hard to tell. You can't see their gun. Then he just sprays, doesn't hit anything. He's just staring at the rope. See, this is why I think this looks like someone who hasn't played in a long time, because it looks like he got confused as to how Fuse was clustering through the wall. But also, this kill that he got, it looked like it didn't even connect. I could be crazy, but it looked like it was way off and he somehow got the kill. Yeah, he got a headshot even though he was aiming like two feet to the right of them. But it could be a match replay. But we did have someone just in the last match, or hacker replay, where... They shot like two feet above someone and got a kill, but they were cheating. So he's nailing it every single time. Could be luck. I have games like that, but who knows? But he hasn't nailed it every single time. He has 10 kills, which is a lot. Keep in mind. But this is round six. So five rounds have been played. In two of the five rounds, he got four Ks. So that means only in two of the five rounds, it like paid off. The rest of them were just trades or barely doing anything. So... I don't think it's like consistently paying off if it's 40% of the time. It's just like, yeah, you know, you got lucky twice. He does have some questionable positioning, I'll say. Just like the last round where he was just standing in the corner. wondering what's your opinion on champ slash high level player smurfing to boost their friends in easier lobbies uh from our understanding it's like almost impossible to smurf now because all it takes is five games to get to champ hidden mmr so i don't think that quite really exists I'm making a new account but it's going to very quickly be put into champ Doesn't really seem. No, he's doing like all three of them are hiding in service entrance, which is usually a terrible place to hide. I think he saw a ram there, but that was quite an angle to fight. Okay, he can see their legs, but then misses a bunch of shots. I think it's fine. Again, so far I haven't really seen much that I would be like, this guy is cheating. That looked like a reaction. I would be pretty fucking surprised about this too. The only part that's weird is how perfectly he follows the ace. I know it wouldn't be that hard because you can see them clear as day. You follow them at a normal speed and it would line up perfectly with them. But I just find how perfectly he stays with his chest a little weird. But I would say out of everything we've seen so far, that is probably the most suspicious. Everything else has been kind of meh up until now. I bet if we look up the MMR of this lobby, it's going to be pretty low. Because it does feel like a lot of people in this lobby don't know what they're doing. That was a good reaction time, but not suspiciously good. That was a hipfire headshot from that far away. Uh, he, he's either incredibly lucky, or that is suspicious. He sees Ace's head, so he gets ready. But then he stands up and he hipfire headshots him. Could just be luck. The fact that 
we already talked about it before, but the fact that he's able to hold what should be a fairly unholdable position, which is uh, luggage, so confidently with no one pushing him, just, I feel like it has to be silver or bronze. Or it could even be copper, but I don't think it's copper. He also has been doing like these weird spins every once in a while, but I can't tell if that's match replay bugging out or if he's actually like, trying to spin. They were at a 5v3 and now it's a 5v2. But they ended up winning because no one planted. Replay tends to be very off from actual gameplay, unfortunately. That's not true. Replay is usually fairly consistent. The issue is that there are bugs. So we look at stuff that we're like, well, is that suspicious or is it a bug? The bugs are buggy. But the game or match replay itself is fairly consistent and good. It looked like they were just barricading the door and Nook went for the panic spray. <laughs> the fact that they were trying to barricade that door is insane to me. I didn't even notice Frost was right below them. I looked over at chat. They jump in. They get shot at. I don't know. I kind of get what chat meant before where they're like, this guy seems to get very lucky. Because like, even this, he's droning while prone in the middle of an open hallway. And he he's not going to get punished for it. So, I feel like he shouldn't have as many kills as he does. But the enemy team also seems terrible. As I say that he gets wall banged. Um, I don't think that they're cheating. I could be wrong. This is their account. They have a ranked 1.9 KD with no matches ever played, no history of any kind other than North Star two years ago where they played and were negative in quick play. The 2 KD is fairly suspicious. But even when you look here, for the most part, they're kills aren't crazy impressive it's like six and five eight and five eight and four seven and two the kds are high but the kills aren't it's just not many deaths i don't think they're cheating all right match number four we have Ome omega ngt who's accusing juro 240 hertz 2208 what does that sound like a monitor name I think they're cheating. They only just spawned in and looked like they were immediately aiming at someone through the wall. Guys, I think they're cheating. Look at also how their air jab just floats around them. Cheating. Did Ubisoft communicate something about fixing the servers? <laughs> Chat. They're asking if Ubisoft communicated. Good one. <clears throat> yeah, he's cheating. He's trying to make it... Actually, I was gonna say, he's trying to make it not suspicious, but he's not. He's literally just chasing them. He's cheating. Alright, I tried to look it up. Could not find anyone who had the match, so no idea what their username is. But I assume if we quickly like zoom to the last round, they're nine and five. They're wait, they actually lose this. How do you lose this? It's just straight walling. I guess he's trying to be not suspicious by not like pre-firing everyone, so it's probably cost them rounds. Stare at everyone through the wall. As he does. Aiming at the uh, looks like an IQ, but it's not Sophia. I don't know how he loses this. That's how they lose it? 
a Twitch just walking in and shooting him. The Twitch was two and four. This cheaters. Garbage. Actual trash. Alright, in this match we have you again, who is accusing Splinter901. The seven rounds standard game, by the way. see anything so far he's like he's holding normal angles which is good he's constantly checking to make sure no one's like flanking or <coughs> no one's coming from a different angle but I don't see anything weird so far <clears throat> wait hold on <laughs> what is this When you ask for a rotate and the Aruni on your team says, I got you guys, and then this is what they come up with. That's some like Drew level shit, Rob level shit. It has been two minutes and he's still holding this. <clears throat> okay, they seem like a completely normal player so far, so. Let's let's keep watching, see if anything happens, or maybe one sec, let me pull up the document, because just off that, I don't think it's possible that they're cheating. We'll watch another round, but the text document says specifically round six. So we'll see what happens this round. If they are exactly the same as last one, then we'll go all the way to round six and see what the suspicious thing was. If we're about to be in for another two minutes where they hold one angle, then I'm going to be very upset that they got accused because I don't think it's possible that they're cheating. I don't think they even noticed that the, who was that, Buck was in there looking at them. Yeah. Again, we are now at two minutes into the round, and Azami is still holding the one angle that they've been holding the entire round. I like how the person breaches the wall, jumps in, and they're still trying to hold this. I cannot possibly see what they have done so far that could even be considered suspicious. Holding one angle for two minutes is something that no cheater would ever do. Like, cheaters run around the map. They kill whoever they can. They try to maximize their KD. They don't just sit there and watch one angle. But they specifically said, this round, they suspiciously killed the submitter, who is you. But they also added the, the little tidbit in their text document saying, I haven't played the game in two years, so I don't know if this is suspicious or not. They themselves look lost and almost new, because they're like looking around the map like, where am I? I don't know what that Thatcher is supposed to do. You can see them. He's literally staring at them. What are you doing? Shoot! That's Malusi's hand! You're staring at her! He's staring at her! I don't think he's cheating. I mean, I guess you could argue, like, that their aim was a little too good there, especially considering the rest of the match, but, like, I didn't really find that 
suspicious. Like here, sure, you could be like, well, he's looking at the wall instead of like holding this. But if you're going to pre-fire or look over here and get ready to shoot, you aim where you're going to peek. And he pre-fires. He does hit the lesion. But then he even pre-fires there. He's like, oh, he's not there. He's running away. And it, like he looks, sees lesion, then shoots. He doesn't pre-fire. I don't think that's that suspicious. Like, the whole play, you can play on be like, okay, I understand why they shot here, here, and here. Because all of that makes sense. I don't think it was suspicious in any sense. I was so lost. The Banshee is right here, and he's like looking up at the ceiling, like, where the fuck is it? He like saw Warden, looked away, Warden shot him, and then he react shot back and killed him. I don't think he's cheating. Sure, he gets a quad kill. I don't think he's cheating. I don't know if this is a... I assume it's a streamer mode name, but we're going to look it up just in case. Splinter. 901. Oh, it is not a streamer mode name. Uh, they are silver with a 1.58 KD. Never played before. Level 63. I I think they're fine. Sure, they have a like higher KD than what I would expect or want for a silver, but... I mean, that's how you get out of silver, by killing all the silvers. I think they're fine. Okay. We're moving into the last match, which is good because my legs are tired and I need to sit down soon. Okay, in this match we have AG Casus, Casus, who's accusing MQUE05 in this nine. Oh my god, this is a nine round match, bro. I thought this was going to be a quick one. I need to sit down. My legs jelly right now. How did I used to stand for five hours when I worked at the grocery store? Makes no sense to me. Or not even for five hours. Some days I worked ten hour shifts. How the fuck did I stand for that long? Oh no, he's cheating. He's just staring at them. And then he tries to like did you see how he looked up and like, oh, okay, like yep, time to time to move. He's literally just staring at them through the floor. And he's so distracted by staring at them, he doesn't know how to, like, fake that he's, pr like, peeking the door. Oh, that makes zero noise. He just keeps staring at them. You know, when I peek someone, I'm... Ex Expecting four of them to all be peeking the same stairs. No, he is cheating. He is not even trying to hide it. Now, the question is, chat, someone blatantly walling like that, how did this go to nine rounds? Let's find out how they even went to overtime. MQUE has 14 kills. How did this go to overtime? They lose this round. What was the other team doing? I'm sure this is going to be like a silver or bronze lobby because the, well, yeah, with what they were doing, I, I don't think there was any strategy involved there. Or they're like a five stack who's just trying to fucking have fun in this godforsaken game. Because as we've learned, siege players do not like to have fun. That's why that one five stack that we beat yesterday was so pissed that they lost to us because we were just having a good time and they were sweating their dicks off and lost. Wow. Wow. Oh, he's trying to like tap fire so that it's not too suspicious. Well, so that's how they go to overtime. I don't think there's any way. He's at 22 kills. He's not even trying to hide it. I mean, he's still trying to hide it because he was doing the tap firing to make it less suspicious. But there's no way that the cheater loses, right? Surely the cheater will go into fucking 
overdrive here and just kill absolutely everyone. Not even leave it up to chance. Oh no, that's a supernova. That is a Hibana supernova. It can one pump them, doesn't matter. Oh. The the orange team turned on this round. And he's wall banging now. Unfortunately the cheater does win. Bronze with a 2.73 KD. They only played two games. This one where they went 24 and 5, and the one before that where they went 6 and 6. Could you imagine that being your track record in ranked? 6 and 6 and then 24 and 5. Uh, blatantly cheating. Obviously. But that is it for Hacker Replay today. Servers let us get through it, thank god. Chat, what are the odds that by the time this hacker replay comes to youtube which will be wednesday what are the odds that servers are fixed i'm gonna guess one percent servers are still gonna be broken three days from now i think that's a pretty safe bet one day ubisoft will care about siege whether it's about cheaters or servers but one day they'll care i think i think the day ubisoft cares is the day that siege dies because then they're like wait we literally don't make money from any other game why did we let Siege die? And then they'll be like, fuck, we should have cared more.